Have you ever had a conversation with a conventional archaeologist that wants to argue this with you? They say, like, oh, we know how they did it. So, for example, with the giant statues, right, there's there's a scene on a wall. It's called the, the Duty Hotep image. And it shows the Egyptians. There's 156 dudes when you count them all up and they're pulling a statue that's tied to a wooden sled. Now, we know this statue, there's parts of it still exist. First, it's alabaster. It's not granite. Second, it weighs about 56 tons. And you're dragging it on a wooden sled. You can't use that to explain how you move a thousand ton statue. It's not like a sliding scale of difficulty. I do grant them the ability to use primitive methods to move stuff up to like 100, 150 tons. But once you start getting to 400, 600, 1,000 tons, material failure, wood's not an issue, that literally sleds would just be crushed or driven into the ground. There's, a, there's an absolute scale of difficulty that gets applied to these massive objects.